What's up everyone, James from Doc Dean's Pools here. I want to talk about something that I addressed in our previous video about black algae. Towards the end there, I recommended the use of a sequesterant. And uh, it just dawned on me, perhaps you may not know what a sequesterant is. Um, it's kind of like a mystical chemical that's got a whole bunch of different variations from some claiming to remove copper, others being great for like a salt pool, uh, some that kind of do everything. Um, they are really cool chemicals that are really great for swimming pools and we highly recommend the use of them. Uh, so I figured it would be a good opportunity for me to talk about exactly what a question is, what it does, why it's important, and uh, more importantly, what one we recommend to you and the one that we actually use ourselves all the time. So basically, what is a sequesterant? It is a chemical category more than just a single chemical. It's, it's a category that is kind of built around uh, preventing stains, preventing calcium buildup, and being like a clarifier. They're almost all a liquid that you're going to pour around the perimeter of the pool, and they come in a whole bunch of different flavors from ones that are specifically built for a salt system. That way you don't get that calcium buildup on the fins. There are others that are specifically formulated for removing cal um, for removing copper from the water so that way you don't get any kind of like blue streaks or anything like that you've got other ones that are formulated to make sure we don't get any iron deposits onto the surface where you get like brown patches or anything like that our favorite sequestrant actually covers all of these things uh, so stick around to the end of the video to find out what that one is now that you know this you may ask why is a sequestrant important and why do you recommend it it's largely because none of the other chemicals that we use uh, to manage chlorine, pH, alkalinity, cyanuric acid, calcium, all that stuff, nothing else is a stain preventer. And in fact, a lot of the chemicals that we use, like chlorine and muriatic acid, can actually contain impurities like iron. So if we aren't too careful, we could actually be put in these issues into the pool with the chemicals that we use to treat the water and make sure the water is clear and safe and healthy for us to go swimming. Not to mention if you have a gas heater on your swimming pool, that's gonna have a copper heat exchanger. And if your chemistry goes out of balance, what happens is, is the water to become imbalanced, it starts pulling minerals out of its environment and that copper heat exchanger is going to give up some of that copper and you can get these blue and purple streaks and patches appear on the pool and none of the other chemicals that you have is going to prevent that from happening. So this is why it's important that we use a high quality sequestrant to combat each of these issues because if the water's clean and clear, we also want the surface to reflect that same water quality. Now there are three major use cases when it comes to sequestrants. The first one is obviously on a brand new pool. If you just had your pool built or resurfaced, you're gonna to wanna to use a kind of startup uh, sequestrant, what that's going to do is it's going to be formulated to keep down the dust from the plaster because remember when we resurface a pool it's still the construction zone there's going to be plaster there and what this sequestrant is going to do is stop that from ballooning up into the water and it makes it more uh, it, it makes it it makes the filter able to capture this dust much more simply. So it's gonna make managing your chemistry from the get-go much simpler. Um, and it's gonna prevent any kind of impurities that you may have had in the source water that you fill your pool with. It's gonna prevent any of that from going onto the surface and staining while it's in this very kind of vulnerable state while it's curing. The second time that we're always gonna make sure that we have a sequestrant with us is any time that our clients use well water or there is a lot of ground water that can get into the pool. Being in central Florida, a lot of our lakes have a lot of iron and tannins in them. And if we start pulling from a well system, after a certain amount of time, a lot of these have shutoffs. And if we're running a well for say three hours because the water, uh, I don't know, maybe it had a leak, maybe they uh, they backwashed their DE filter and they forgot to turn the valve around or something like that. If we start putting this well water in and that filter on the well shuts off, well then untreated groundwater and well water is gonna be going into this pool. And the last thing that we want there is to have any of this, these metals or any of these tannins start uh, imparting themselves onto this surface. So using a sequestrant is gonna make life so much more simple there. And then lastly, we recommend using these sequestrants as a part of your routine maintenance. Um, it is not something that you need to use every week. In fact, most swimming pools can get away with using a sequestrant once a year or once every six months. Um, when we do our freshly resurfaced pools, we use a specific startup sequestrant um, to make sure that 
the plaster dust is down and make sure that we are establishing great chemistry in there and things are going to be going great. And then six months later, we'll put in another one just to kind of up the dose again. And then six months later, again, we'll do that um, one more time. And then we go on to a yearly schedule with our sequestrants. The big key to remember with these things is that they aren't something that solves a problem. They're things that prevent problems from happening. They're relatively inexpensive. And if you make sure to use them and use them appropriately, you'll stop yourself from having a lot of these frankly quite avoidable stains start appearing on your swimming pool surface. Just to let you know how it's actually saved us in fairly recent memory, we had a client, uh, the pool had a very minor leak on it and she decided to put water into the pool to fill it up. As most people do, you do it without even thinking about it. Um, but her filtration system on her um, well had actually shut off. <laughs> uh, so she was filling it with completely untreated water. When we showed up for regularly scheduled service on that Friday, um, we looked at the pool water and was like, like, why is this jade green? But so we did a, a, a full chemistry test, um, just expecting the, there to be no chlorine in the pool. Chlorine level was great. Chlorine level was actually at 7.5 parts per million. The pH was fantastic. It was sitting at 7.4. The alkalinity was at 110. Stabilizer was at 40. It's like everything here says that this should be looking great. Maybe it's the filter. We went and checked the filter and we noticed the filter was super mucky brown. It's like, okay, what, what's, what's happened here? Pulled it off, um, cleaned it out, and then the water that was coming out of this filter um, was just orange. It was, it was gnarly. Um, so we were like, okay, what, what on earth could have caused this? We haven't had any rain recently, what's going on? So we asked her, and she was like, oh yeah, I put um, water in. Turned the hose on, and I was like, okay, um, wh whatever. It's like, um, is, this, can it, is this city water? Is this, she's like, oh no, it's, it's from the well. It's like, okay, how long was this on for? She's like, I don't know, a few hours. It's like, okay, that, that, that's what it must have been then. The, the filtration system on her well had shut off and it had imparted all of these impurities, like we're saying, the iron and the tannins into the water. But because we used the sequestrant, it managed to keep it all onto the filter. And after cleaning the filter the next week, everything was back to normal. So that's just an example of how a sequestrant has saved even us, a professional pool service company. Now, the sequestrant that we used in that pool specifically is the same one that we recommend to everyone for anything. It is the most all-purpose, covers all of your bases sequestrant that we use. Um, we, we've been using this thing for several years. Um, it's called Jack's Magic Magenta. It's actually a full spectrum sequestrant. You can use this on a newly resurfaced pool. You can use this on existing pools. Uh, I guess those are the only two kinds of pools that you got having you, ones that just been built or ones that are already existing. Now there are other great brands out there like Orenda and um, Seaclear. Those two companies also make great products, but for the availability in our area, we always use Jack's Magic and I firmly stand behind all of the products that they make. Side note, this is not a sponsored video. I wish Jack's Magic would sponsor me, but frankly, they are so big, they don't need people like me saying how great they are. So yeah, if you're looking for a sequestrant after all of this, I totally think you should be, um, definitely give Jack's Magic Magenta a go. All right, this has been James from Doc Dean's Pools. I'll catch you guys in the next one.